today we will go through this chapter profiles okay so what is default profile start profile instance profile uh, some questions are asked in interview but uh, it depends like how uh, on this profiles okay so we'll just go through this uh, profile chapter today and we'll just see if we get time so that we can continue with the background job also okay okay so i have opened this syllabus so in this seventh chapter which is <coughs> sap nw that is netweaver administration task profile okay Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. So this chapter will take. So if you see in your uh, Google Drive, this folder monitoring and profiles. Okay, in this we have this notepad. So what I have did is uh, this profiles uh, profile and monitoring I have mixed. Uh, in the top I have put profile. details and uh, monitoring details i have put it in the so today we'll study on profiles okay so basically if you if you see when we done did the client copy okay so at that time if you remember we have added one parameter for sap star right so what was that parameter name do you remember i think the parameter name was no automatic user sap star so we have set this parameter to zero right so if i go on to the server and i can check over here that parameter will be there so where this profiles are stored the profiles are stored in d colon usr sap and sid suppose for example we will take ecd and in sys folder there is a profile folder okay so at operating system level it is stored in profile this is the path usr sap sid sys and profile okay so if i open this default profile we'll just check that parameter okay which parameter which we added so can everybody see this uh, parameter this was the parameter which we added right login no automatic user sap star which we added to zero <coughs> so everyone can see the screen right yes sir i will just increase the font size so this was that parameter which we added okay so if you see here <coughs> we will we'll go step by step uh, what is start profile okay generally we don't touch the start profile because the uh, after installation all this uh, parameters are added to the start profile if you see this is a start profile but we don't make any changes in this profile because what happens like <coughs> if you are sure uh, you can make the changes otherwise what happens the system doesn't get started okay if by mistakenly if you if you add some parameter and you you are not sure on that system doesn't get start okay so what is start profile start profile contains the starting parameter for the instance means when the instance is started okay so that parameters are and what is the naming convention the naming convention is start the instance name and the host name if you see here start underscore the instance name host name so this is the start parameter okay so start parameter is nothing but <clears throat> or the start profile is nothing but the starting parameters are there in this start profile okay now what is default so default dot pfl contains global parameters that apply to all instance 
that means what like if we if we, if i add the parameter in this default.pfl okay so it will be applicable to it will be applicable globally okay to all the instances okay so now this this parameter once once i added so it is applicable to all the instances that is default profile <clears throat> what is the instance profile instance profile contains the instance specific profile data okay each instance will have its own star profile so generally here uh, here in interview they ask you the questions like uh, what will be the profile sequence okay so when when sap started like when when sap gets started from sap management console if i go into don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos sap management console when this sap gets started so what what will be the sequence so first the start profile will get read then the default profile and then the instance instance profile okay and say for example by mistakely uh, this start profile contains some wrong parameters okay that means <clears throat> wrong parameters means what suppose this is the start profile okay suppose here by mistakely there is some wrong parameter for example this host name is gisr01 instead of 01 it is 02 okay by mistakely someone has updated it so sap will start or it will not start say for example in this start profile by mistakely it is gisr02 Two, someone has updated and he is trying to restart the SAP. So, well, uh, will will SAP will get started or it will not get start? Bharat, uh, or Ajinkya, anyone can answer. Nilesh, Neha. It will not start. No. It will not start because it will not get the correct host name, right? So that is the reason it will not start. Okay. so this start profile is very important so what will be the sequence of this profile when sap is started the sequence will be first it will read start profile it will check whether the all the parameters are correct then it will read the default profile and then it will read the instance profile okay so now here uh, in this profile chapter we will be uh, learning these two transactions okay rz10 and rz11 now what is rz10 rz10 is used to make the changes in the profile parameter okay in the prof the parameters basically so now what we will do is so we will go into this default profile okay and suppose say for example i make some changes over here okay so instead of 001 i make the changes to 200 okay now in some companies what happens is you don't have os level access that is you don't have server os level access means that means you can't make any changes going into this default parameter and directly make the changes here okay so what is the other option we can we can do is we can update this parameter at sap level okay sap level means what we need to log in into sap logon pad and we need to make the changes so i will log in into sap logon so there are two ways you can make the changes directly at the os level OS means operating system level or server level, or you can directly go and make the changes at the. So there are two. 
two ways you can make the changes in the profile okay so i will just log in into 200 so it is it is very much uh, required that you need to log in into the productive client 